And so it begins. The Fed said today that interest rates remain steady and they're going to expect three rate hike cuts later this year, which was a wild card answer for some people because initially the public planned for two rate hike cuts, but the Fed decides to announce three that will take place. Nonetheless, this is an expected move. You know, you have to eventually cut rates. The inflation is too high and it's necessary given the situation we are in economically. I also saw the SEC is now, I laugh because you guys can tell how serious this is, right? The SEC is targeting Ethereum, trying to call them a security, which naturally makes sense because there's a threat of the ETF coming out. You know, there's talks about it already and the SEC, just like Bitcoin, wants to delay that and how they're going to delay that is by calling it a security the newbie retail investors who are coming in don't know any better so they're going to be the ones who maybe buy it and then see these news or the rumors of or later on this year you know see some more manipulation and they're going to sell it and what's it going to do it's going to drop ethereum's price it's going to drop the old coins price especially the ones that are tied to eth aka eth tokens and we're going to see, see more red so more red than we actually been seeing, by the way. It was pretty nice seeing these discounts go from, you know, a 72K Bitcoin to, uh, what was it, 61, 62K. Uh, I even posted on Twitter, I hope these sell-offs continue. It's kind of funny, my reaction now, when I see red in the market. I get so excited, and I actually panic, but not in the sense that retail does. Like, retail panics and literally sells their crypto away, which... You have to learn this with experience and that's why I always stress it's so important to be part of a support group because when you're feeling the uncertainty, literally you can use the group to bounce off your thoughts and emotions. It helps immensely. Um, but that being said, I have panic as in I hope these discounts last a little bit longer until I get paid so I can buy the dips. Like That's my overall outlook. I mean, I started my YouTube channel in the bear market the worst bear market we've seen in quite some time for crypto so if that doesn't tell you that i'm used to buying in the red or used to seeing red in general i don't know what does but yeah it's we're going to probably see more discounts this sell-off we've been seeing is nothing really out of the ordinary i've been saying we're going to see a sell-off i've been seeing it in all my videos including my live streams so i'm not shocked at all no matter how drastic the sell-off gets i'm not going to be so concerned in fact i'll just buy the dips like I'm, i i said it before right i hope this year is accumulation the rest of it uh, obviously it's unwritten what's going to happen in you know q2 q3 q4 this year but as we enter q2 we're going to see you know ships take place especially with the etfs coming out now for ethereum or at least being talked about and a bitcoin having a bitcoin etf we're seeing adoption take place we're seeing BlackRock, you know, get more integrated in crypto. We're seeing institutions starting to flood the market. We're seeing new projects be launched. You know, projects like Aerodrome Finance, which is rocket shipping right now. It's at 83 cents. Last I checked, we got new projects like Goldfinch Protocol, which is heavily venture capitalist backed or VC backed, you know, on Coinbase. So we're seeing a lot of activity take place. We're seeing more news stations cover it. You know, I'm starting to get some questions from coworkers and friends of, hey, John, you heard of crypto? You know, that's when you know the bull market is here. The bull market has begun, right? But like I said, if you're new here or if you're inexperienced or maybe you're uncertain, this is why I try to ingrain and teach you guys pretty much the mentality I underwent as an investor in this market. You want to be emotionally in control. Because you're going to see a lot of manipulation. You're probably going to see more red before you see green. I'll be honest. A lot of us tend to get married to the green. Roller coaster going up. And not realize roller coasters don't just go up. Eventually they go down and you get off. Right? So what we're seeing right now is a, a huge rally for Bitcoin. You know, before the sell off. And now we're seeing numbers tossed around like 150k, 200k. You're probably going to see the stupid million dollars in 30 days again. I wouldn't be surprised. That, that stupid headline video comes back it was the most ridiculous thing i ever seen but uh the fact that we're seeing more investors come in and we're seeing more money in the market especially institutions which we haven't seen before you know with regulation eventually going to come 
and now politicians trying to get their piece of the pie with rejecting the ETFs and so on and so forth before they get passed, obviously. I see some big swings taking place. Altcoin season is going to be a fun one. If you've been in my Discord, you've been seeing, aside from the past few days, I've been buying a lot of crypto because I know these discounts, for one, are not going to last for long. And two, this is probably our last year to accumulate discounted crypto. Bitcoin, it's fair to say, you might get a 3x out of it, maybe. But the gains for Bitcoin are pretty much milked out. But old coins are still down considerably. So even if you're just entering the market now, you still have time to get some really good cheap discounts. A lot of people, surprisingly, are still waiting till the Bitcoin halving, until the ETF gets passed, until they see the news say, hey guys, the bull market's back, it's safe, come back in the water to get in. But the ones who are getting in now, whether it's you or someone else that is just starting to make moves now, you're going to be leaps ahead of everybody else who gets in later on this year. But just keep in mind though, just because we're in a bull market now, doesn't mean it's a straight path up. We're going to see red days like we saw. We're going to see sell-offs like, like we're seeing now. And the reason Bitcoin recovered today, I'm assuming has to do with the Fed meeting outcome. What they said and what the outlook essentially is looking like for the rest of this year. The rate hike cuts were expected. So there was nothing really uh, curve bullish that was thrown out today aside from the extra rate hike but it wasn't a huge thing to send the market into a frenzy going down that's usually what happens by the way at the fomc meetings is when uh jerome powell comes out and says something totally unexpected and you'll literally see if you're watching these meetings you know live you'll see the price of bitcoin go up a k down a k up a k down a k 2k 3k in a matter of minutes and remember, Bitcoin is over a trillion dollar asset. So to move just that, you know, a little bit of money is a lot of money moving. So people literally shift their cryptos from bullish to bearish based on what they see in the news, what they feel in the moment. And that's a wrong way to go about it. That's in fact how you actually leave gains on the table, lose changing your life, the opportunity anyway, and end up coming back for the next cycle. Listen, I'll be here for future cycles. Of course, I want to multiply whatever profits I get this cycle. But I know this cycle is going to be massive. I also know it's definitely the last one before regulation comes in and before we see a lot of uh, diminished returns. So I am doing whatever it takes to put everything into the market like I was doing for the last you know, two or three years. I am not chancing anything. Anything. I am literally giving my all it's you know something that i really want so bad i want to come out of this with millions of dollars and i'm sure some of you also want to do the same a lot of my discord members at least 10 now have hit six figures one guy said he hit six figures on two calls insane so you know we have people already making bull cycle gains it's pretty insane when you see, when you think about it but just know this if you're in the green right now pre-having man if you hold on and you wait you're going to be very wealthy you have no idea and even if you're not in the green right now if you're just making moves you're taking advantage of the dips the red and your dollar cost averaging down you're setting yourself up to see massive profits which again is a great thing and it's something very few people actually witness in this market but anyways now i want to hear from you what price do you think bitcoin will be at the havoc and when do you think all coin season will start drop your comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video please give a like it really helps so much that being said i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one